I'm Irene Jones. I'm from the Shine Bright Nature Center Insurance Program from Marshall and Sterling Insurance. And today we're going to talk to you about what to expect from an insurance review. So what do you look for when you're conducting an insurance review? First, you want to interview your agent or your prospective agent, um, just like you would an employee, to make sure that they're a great match for your organization. And in the process of going through the review, you can evaluate some simple things. One, look for the mentality of a servant and of a teacher, not a salesperson. These people should be here to help you. They're professionals. They should understand aspects of risk and uh, risk transfer and finances uh, and guide you along the way. They should explain things and seek to find ways to help you um, in your organization thrive. That's really important. So look for the mentality of a servant and a teacher. The second thing that you should do is look for an insurance agent that understands your industry. Um, it's really important that they understand the risks that you face and the challenges that your industry is going through. There's often different regulatory um, and legal issues, um, different transitions that are going on in the industry. One thing that you can look for is an actual program because that will show some specialization. Um, another thing to look for is an understanding of the cash flows that you face. Um, when do you get your funding? When does your income come in? Um, is something changing? Uh, and then also, again, we go back to the servant issue. How are they helping you apply your cash flows to uh, your insurance expenses? Are there ways that that can be managed? Ask that question and look for a, an agent and a review process that is, um, you know, complying to what you need, not that you have to fit into their mold. Um, Another area is resources. Um, you're paying uh, a decent sum every year for insurance. So aside from just a, a policy, which you want to make sure your policy has great coverage, what other resources are available to you? Are there any trainings available to you that can help you reduce your costs on the staff training side? Are there any um, sample forms or documents? Uh, what about the professional themselves? Are they a resource? Can you call them with your questions? Um, you want someone that's going to be there for a continued um, relationship with you over time. And that comes to the final point, which is that in addition to resources and coverage, um, you really want to look for communication. Um, is everything explained to you in a written manner? Is there a good follow-up? Is there good communication? Are you comfortable contacting uh, your insurance professional? Uh, how about the service staff? How about the, the claim staff? Um, how uh, well established is the organization? Uh, what is their track record? Um, and how are they communicating with you through the review process? Because that's going to be a pretty good indication of what you can expect uh, moving forward.